Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another Swiss 001 video. Yes, welcome back to Flight Simulator Fun with Swiss 001. And we're definitely now using this motto in every single video now. And yeah, welcome back in the Flight Simulator indeed. Right in front of us here at Le Mole Airport, the airport that we're kind of always at because it has an interesting runway. Yeah, right in front of us is our A330. A very interesting plane by Airbus indeed. And um, well, this is a jar design add on. And you can already tell that because it's totally buggy. And and it's not working out like at all. Like what is even going on with the elevator surface? Like it's going crazy. <laughs> I cannot do anything about this. This is so weird. Um, yeah. <laughs> but today we're actually here in this A330 for a reason. And I think uh, the I'll be able to explain the reason actually once we're up in the air. Yeah, to put it simply, we're gonna talk about smooth landings. And well, the A330 is perfect for this topic. All right, let's just go ahead and do a tow guy takeoff out of this 1300 meter long runway that we have. Um, this is gonna be an interesting takeoff indeed. All right, engines are running at full power. And we're kind of doing like a static takeoff now. We can turn off the parking brake as they say in Airbus. There we go. And there we go, we are just rolling along and I think this will be a successful takeoff. Already 120 knots. I think we can soon lift off into the air. Oh, that was barely a crash actually. All right, but we are actually in the air now. And what we can tell now with the plane being in the air is um, that there's something interesting to the main landing gear here. As you can see, it is tilted, which uh, mainly is made to look cool, especially on the landings to have a smooth landing or something. Honestly, I don't really know the actual use of tilted landing gear, but I just think they look cool and that's all that is to it. Yeah, the A330 therefore is known as the plane that always lands smoothly because it always does look like it lands smoothly. It's very interesting actually. <laughs> now this is quite amazing. Now, I mean just landings in this plane look very amazing. So let's do some landings and especially do some smooth landings. I mean, in general, we have not talked about the A330 30 before at all like I've only flown this plane like one time before in a video because again I don't really like the model specifically it's not I don't know but the tilted landing gear is nice and uh, something else that's fixed is uh, the uh, elevator surfaces are now normal they're not having a stroke anymore that's good let's go ahead and do a landing here and we can hear screaming babies in the background Jesus. Yeah, um, <clears throat> whatever. Let's just come in for a landing here at Le Mole Airport, you know. We just have to turn back 180 degrees and just get this plane back, land it on the runway. And I'm having some trouble actually um, controlling this plane. I don't fly a lot of Airbuses and, you know, they fly a little uniquely, I would say, you know, with a fly-by wire and everything. And in general, this plane is pretty big, of course, which is why there is a lot of, like, input delay, of course. And that was uh, too many of courses in a sentence. Let's go ahead. <laughs> and uh, get this plane landed. All right, there we go. Everything's actually set for the landing, so all we have to do now is actually touch down smoothly. And we could just hear the Airbus call out, the GPWS call out, it's very creepy always, but you know, it sounds kind of cool. It has a little bit of a British twist to it. Now, before we land, it's time for me to mention again that over 6% of my viewers are not subscribed, so subscribe. All right, there we go. Le Mole Airport is ahead indeed. Small runway is slowly starting to show up. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. All right, come on. Now a smooth landing. That's all we need. All right, that was very beautiful. I think we're actually going to overrun definitely. This plane, in no way this plane is going to stop still, right? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, we are overrunning into the bushes as well. But what we have is a kind of smooth landing. I mean, here, as you can see, with this landing, there was a lot of float going on, which is because I don't really know how to fly this plane, like, at all. Which is why, as you'll see in a second, we didn't use, like, even, like, a third of this runway, right? There we go. Finally, a touchdown, which, you know, again, looked very beautiful. At least a touchdown. Wow, that was, like, so good. Let's check it out in slow motion as well. You know, just because we can, right, in this flight simulator. There we go, even a close-up as well. This is like never seen before, very beautiful. And this is not even the smoothest landing that you can do as well, of course. I mean, that was like 200 feet in the minus here of the center eight on the touchdown. I can definitely do better than that. Let's just try landing this plane again. Maybe now I have a little bit of a hang on how to fly this plane properly and land it properly. That's the most important part. All right, we'll come back on board. Now let's get ready for our landing here on my two, four. 1300 meters. I just want to also see if we can actually get this plane stopped here on this runway, uh, which <laughs> as we can see is a little bit of a challenge. Let's see. What this? What is this here? Oh. Sunshade. <laughs> Alright, 10. 
All right, now another landing. Let's see if we can get this plane stopped here or something at least. Come on, full power on the reverse thrust and on the brakes as well. All right, I think we have stopped indeed. We actually did use the whole runway here. That is a little close, but as you can see, we can even get a long haul plane here perfectly stopped at Le Mole Airport. Actually, the 777 on the other hand by Boeing is not particularly able to land at this airport. But then, as you can see, this worked even though this was a long landing again, even though it was a smooth landing. Endings. Well, that's for this video at least the most important part. Normally, <laughs> on planes, pilots are not aiming for the smoothest landing, but the safest landing. So that means, in this case at least, using the most runway possible. Yeah, you just want your passengers to survive this flight basically, and uh, especially your planes. Well, and doing a little bit of a you know tougher landing is better than overrunning, of course. So normally on planes, you're aiming to land on these two points, for example. But let's just go ahead and ignore all that and maybe do the longest landing whatever and let's not care about doing the shortest landing ever or something we really only care about getting this plane as smoothly down as possible yeah let's actually go to nice airport which is right over here there it is this one now is an actual international airport with actual passenger traffic with 3,000 meter long runways i mean you know this, there's even a380s operating at this place so let's go ahead and operate our a330 here as well <laughs> all right there we go the weird elevators have returned now an international airport let's go ahead and get our plane landed here now a little tip that i always like to use when i do super super smooth landings is you know landing at a little bit of a higher speed than usual because then you actually have control of when the plane's actually touching down on the runway now that obviously gives us the best chances to overrun on that landing as well but at least we can touch down as smoothly as possible which is um the point right all right i mean maybe we can land on the shorter runway of Nice Airport as well. No problem at all. Let's do this smoothly. Oh my god, that was so smooth. Minus 46 feet per minute. It even says here, butter. Now, we actually do need to go around because otherwise we'll die very much. Oh, there we go. Oh, we've crashed into something though. But that was at least a touchdown. That was super smooth. Let's check it out. Like, it was even like unrealistically smooth. I mean, we can watch that here in a replay as well. And it's kind of laggy. There we go. It's back. All right, let's check it out. How did this landing exactly look? There we go. We had five. And then the touchdown in slow motion. Ah. Uh, I think the first landing here is now touchdown and the second one comes in as well and then a full touchdown that is so beautiful um, yeah actually to be honest i'm kind of starting to like this plane a little bit it doesn't seem so bad after all <laughs> so yeah really the a330's title of the smoothest lander is definitely deserved i mean we can compare that to another plane that has a lot of gear tilt actually uh, and that is the 757 but you know this is uh nothing against the a330 so it's definitely the best we should definitely let the 757 crash there we go that's well, where it belongs to now yeah guys thank you for watching today's video and i'll see you tomorrow as always good night all right but we have got a new outro where i mention all the supporters on patreon or on, on the members from now on like wilshire darcy hunkin or uh, matt Zatorno. he's also been a long supporter ethan has also supported me for a long time also courier 001 is in the list so just become a member and you'll be um personally mentioned there we go good night